First cast for any fish. Fish. Oh, fish, Rainy. Big one. <laughs> Leave some for next time. And a wonderful good morning fishing brigaders out there. Rainy Ranzen here in the car of Alexander aka Zander who is taking some energy juices now here to get ready for this early morning session. We are gonna heading out here today to a local lake next to my house as well like it and trying to target some pikes. And here the adventure begins again. Walking here through a forest path to getting to the lakeside that we want to target this morning. Okay, didn't look, took that long to get back together, Alexander, back on. Yes. Today, something different that you saw so far on the channel. A nice lake for some pike fishing. What do you have to say to us in the morning eh? Can we be optimistic to get some nice ones? Oh yeah, 100%. Um, well, first of all, good morning. There you go. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of pike here. Some trout, but we won't be targeting the trout pike mainly. Um, we'll show you what we're using in just a moment. Um, I mean, weather is perfect. A little bit overcast, no wind. So you should definitely see some action. So, um, this will be better. Um, same setup, Savage Gear SG2, grams 5 to 18, same as the river stuff. Um, wire trace, simple rig, shallow screw um, with a Savage Gear um, Cannibal Craft Shad. This is the biggest size, I think it's 12 and a half centimeters. Um, the braid is the same, Akuma Shimano reel. So yeah, pretty standard bike setup. Okay, I'm using to Today, the first time my sec uh, rod, which is the all black, which is a pike rod, well, which I got from a very good colleague of mine as well in Germany. We having here a little bit overdone, but I think it will do his job today. Is like is 30 to 80 gram cast weight as well. We are using a Western shed as well, like here, yeah, Westin, with a double stinger, also titanium leader as well with the swivel on. Then we having like about 25 kilo uh, fluorocarbon as well, about two meters long and up in the top as well again just a swivel also really easy construction as well to be double sure that we don't harm the fishes as well if we catch them so he doesn't lose or he doesn't go loose with the lure in his mouth as well we are using here the again as well the Diva Ninja 3000 with a brand strength of 25 kilo as well uh, um, braided line and yeah this is the setup that we need to hit out there and see what we can do we have to say as well as you see my it's not weighted it's just by his own weight because it's very very shallow the water over here so we're just using the weight of the bait himself so let's cross fingers and see what we can get out there Fish! First cast for any fish. Oh, nice one. Just smash the surface, the lure, and already on. Okie dokie. Smoking. Biggest, but at ah, at least first, fish. first fish, first fish. Well done, well done. Oh, it's hooked very, very awkwardly. Yeah. Want me to use my net? Yeah. Just in case, just to be sure we don't lose him. There we go. Perfection. 
Okay, first fish of play. Lure is already out, so we can get this big or this small mama out of her misery here in the net. Fantastic. The big first mama of the day. Nice one. Yeah, I would say 60 centimeters. Yeah. 55, 60 something. Not the biggest big one, but at least something. And obviously the first cast of the day. Here it goes. Our mamita. Let her swim. And there she goes. Yee Not too bad for the start of the day. Yay man! First fish. So I'm just gonna go and fish around that wee corner a bit. Because it seems to be very pikey looking you can say. Hopefully I can get my first one because Rain has already gotten in his first cast. How unfair. Fish. Oh, fish, Rainy. Big one. Okay, I goes quicker than expected. Eh? I have still to walk through the water, and Alexander is already fighting the next fish of this morning. Oh, it's not too bad. It's getting there. Starting up my drag a wee bit, taking too much line. I knew that corner is going to be productive. Please, please don't come off. Can't see it yet, it's not showing up, but it's coming up now. That doesn't seem to be very big. But it's putting up a good fight. Oh, to wait, to wait, to wait, to wait, to wait, to wait, to wait. In the net. Not very big one, as I thought, but there we go. There he is. What do we say? Yeah, it's a bit bigger than mine for sure. About 65 to maybe 70 centimeters. We're gonna have a look at it now. Alright, same game over here, give him the rod. Just I just gonna take some more line. <clears throat> Not too bad. Well, two more and we go home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Job done for this morning. <laughs> Leave some for next time. <laughs> well, Mama is not ready to go. He is not ready. Nice one, nice not bad. Yes. Those okay, trebles. Good 70 centimeters. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful first fishes. Nice ones. All right, so this is the way how we can keep on going the day. Yes. I will say, fantastic. Hopefully. Let Hopefully. the beauty swim. This is her for the release now. She's ready. She's ready, she's just here down, but it's too muddy here because we've been standing. Alright, perfect. I pass you your rod. Thank you so and much. I pass you your fist as well. I will say, Jack, good job. That's the way we start today. Yeah, man! <coughs> Alright, back to fishing. I knew this corner would be productive. Just had a great feeling. Perfect place for 
the pike to sit on the arm bush to pray when they go past. It's amazing. Fish! I've seen that following. There's a little ripple in the water, but I've just seen it. I've seen it following. Made a little pause. And took it. <laughs> there he is. Back on on the fish. Ah, takes us some line. At least we've been a bit closer together now since I didn't have even a chance to walk away and he's already fighting here back on. So much fun on this light rod, Danny. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I also realized already like the old black here is a little bit overdone. So today I should have actually made this little lighter one. Oh, this one is a hardy one. It's fighting quite strong. No, it doesn't want to give up. to go into the grass. We don't want him in the grass. It's a positive thing as well on fishing like we are doing today in waders because you just have to, you can walk even if he's got get stocked or somewhere or something. Oh he actually went into the grass. Ooh, dangerous situation now. Oh he's in the grass bro. Um Randy can you give me a hug? Yes. Maybe I'll just hold my rod so I can go in. Alright. Needed to give a hand because he really made it to escape through the grass. So we hope we're not gonna lose it. Yeah, he's bending. So. I'm just gonna think that do you have maybe a quick release? Yes, of course, no worries. Just let me know and I can buy. Okay. Oh, bro. Oh, he's in the net. Right, I'm just gonna unhook the fish and keep him in my net yeah. and then we can. That's the lure out. That's okay, just you can just put the rod on the grass. We'll sort that later. Next fish on, baby. Yeah, same size. Probably it's the same fish. No, bigger. <laughs> this one is a bit bigger. Ah, yeah, it's a bit bigger. Yeah, it's true. And has a lot different color. Pattern on. Nice. Awesome. Not bad. So, I'm just going to quickly take him. It's very lively. Yeah. Very, very lively. Yeah. yeah, I would say this could be already a 7 centimeter one. Give me one more smile. Yeah. Awesome. Not too bad. Ready for the release? Yeah, ready for a let her swim. Oh, oh she's so ready to rock. Yeah, man. Say third fist already this morning. Yeah. Smokey Madoki Loki! Okay, now it's time to set my lure. I'm sorry, my apologies. Now it's time to get my lure. Successful. So this corner has been real productive for me this morning. I've only been here for about maybe half an hour. I already had two fish. Hmm. 
Fish. Then he's just a smaller one. Just yeah. Just you film it again. Yeah. Well, I think it's a smaller one. Oh, so much fun on this light setup. It's absolutely amazing. And as I said before already, no chance for me to fish. Whoa, we had a nice jump here on that one. Eh? Fantastic. Eh? Okay, Alexander is again back on. So fish number three for him already. As I said, I don't even arrive to my spot. And he's catching them all away. So yeah, but uh, anyways, we do this for you guys and for us uh, together. So we can present some fish. Nice jumping action. Hopefully we don't lose him as well. And then let's see how this one is looking. All right, back in game. Hey, yeah, same? Roughly the same size. Roughly the same size, no? Yeah, all right. I'm just gonna go to the grass a bit tomorrow okay. then, so it's easier. Yeah. Is that the GoPro that? Yeah. What are you doing in a sec? Okay, pike number three for Mr. Alexander this morning. Yeah, man, not bad. Savage Gear Carnival Craft Shad. Amazing. Strikes it. Another beauty. There we go, nice fish. So, beautiful. Let her swim for him. Here we go. There she goes. She goes back, back into the deep. Yeah, man. Fish number four. four. <laughs> Okay, friends out there, uh, the fishing died a little bit now. As you might see there behind me, the sun is really coming out and uh, we are here on a very shallow part as well, like, which is obviously a bit more spooky for the fishes now. Us walking into the water, Alexander is still out there, gives it a go. But I think I'm gonna switch to behind me here a little bit where it's a little bit goes around the corner there And there would be a bit more shade because here so far for me I changed to a savage gilure as well natural decor more or less and uh, Yeah, so far nothing but also Alexander After the first three that he catched in about 10 minutes this morning. Eh, it's nothing going on anymore So yeah, it's also getting really good chili uh, in the waiters here. So yeah We'll see as so often uh, we hope that you really enjoyed this video so far and if so thumbs it up leave a comment down below subscribe to the channel if you didn't do so far and it will be nice to see more and more people of you guys coming over to support us as well with all our future adventures us together here to get everything sorted and figure out nice places here in scotland to go fishing as well for next year we have a lot of plans to do to go for it not to do and uh, yeah i think it's gonna be something for everybody no? now in the winter season it's gonna be a bit more shore fishing coming up for sure on the channel i'm uh, gonna go with another friend of mine here for a little bit of cod and uh, pollock and all that species vase and all that and uh, yeah let's cross fingers that this also is gonna be good it's still a bit too warm so we're gonna wait another two to three weeks more or less until we're gonna hit the water the first time and yes, so far, a uh, beautiful day this morning. Eh? Okay, and while walking back to our car after this morning session of fishing as well, why not foresting a little bit? And look what we got here. We got some other nice ones. Here we go. Woo! 
A small one, here another one. And trails. Yay! See? Growing together. Fantastic. And here we have a beauty, the gold of the forest. Yay! Look at this. Beautiful. Good size. And just a little bit further there, another one. Ooh, also a big baby. Nice. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Ooh, and Alexander is also into foraging now. Finally, we find some canterelle hotspots. And here, also in the bush, good hidden, some more of the gold of the forest. Yoo and over here as well, another one. And here we have the party pooper. This one better not to collect. Here again, ladies and gentlemen, our birch polypores. Quite fresh, quite nice, not too big. Taking home, making medicine, tea out of it as well, some pulver, and uh, maybe I'm gonna sharp my knife on it. Look at this small little feller, what we found here. Nice. Ooh, here we go. Huh? Stunner. Here we have a nice cap. Sadly, a little bit old. Nah, a little bit spongy. I'm gonna let it here. Just to film it for you guys. Uh, nice eating mushroom, stone mushroom, called in German, caps here in England or UK in general. And yeah, beautiful. And here some another birch polypores, young ones. I do have a lot already, so I'm not gonna take them. I'm gonna let them here for maybe somebody else or just let them make their job because this is a dead tree. So gonna help to get it out of the way so next tree can grow, but beautiful. Look at them. Okay, and just arriving close by to the car, just a couple meters from the car away, look at this beauty, yes, jackpot baby, cantarelles on mass, and look at the sizes, absolutely stunning. And Alexander found them as well, so he also is really into, you see he's carrying the fishing equipment at the moment, because I'm, oh man, and he is also still ongoing. Yay, jackpot baby! Whew. Absolutely stunning. Something not to do normally with a plastic bag as well, but uh, the other bag is already full and I don't want to squeeze them because look at these beauties here. Wow! Amazing. Absolutely take them from the, amazing. From the hill. Look at this. Eh? Perfectly shaped, shiny, absolutely amazing. Wow! Look at that. That is going to be some nice omelets coming up. And here, size is getting just bigger and bigger. Awesome, nature is so beautiful guys. Just take your time, have a look around as well and you fill your plate with some beautiful, beautiful tasting mushrooms or whatever you're foraging out here in those forests. Look at this here, oh man. All right, ladies and gentlemen, again, a small adventure here of a two hour morning session here with Alexander here for a little bit of pike fishing today on this beautiful lake. Then you saw us well the foresting over here well with the mushrooms that we got we got like two bags full so it's gonna be absolutely tasty amazing yeah for any not me yeah okay <laughs> i gonna i gonna take this and gonna make some nice pasta and some omelet with it but anyways as so often guys if you like it thumbs it up and leave a comment down below if you didn't subscribe to the channel feel free and support us as well for the next coming up year as well together in association with alexander the fishing brigade we're gonna go way further than we are so far hopefully with your support anyways and uh, it's gonna come a lot of different types of fishing what we're gonna do as well we're gonna take it to every opportunity that we're having here I oh say, yeah 100 you know 100 you know, you know um, my main target for next year will be rivers but i will support any with the sea fishing as well sea fishing as well my i can convince them now for the winter to go some rock yeah. fishing and all kind of stuff like that and as maybe well, i'll so. convince rainy to go to the loft Exactly, to come with over waders, here as well, like with waders as well, by the way, not being cold or frozen as well, as you guys know, anyways. Okay, thank you very much for watching this episode again. We really hope you enjoyed it and see us definitely very soon in the next one coming up.